Yo guys, Features Gaming here. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we are back for into the Train Sim World 3 video. And today we are taking a class 395 from I'm guessing St. Pancras International to Ashford International or something like that. So we are here at about 11 14 a.m. I actually thought that was the real time time at the moment for a second. No, we're about uh, actually in real life as I'm recording this. This is actually being taken, or the time that you're seeing is probably an hour delayed than what I'm actually getting right now, which is quite scary. I didn't, you know, do that intentionally, but that is what we're going to be doing today. So let's go ahead and put in the master key, put it into forward, unlock the right doors. And we are taking it in a very special livery. We are taking it in the air link livery oh yeah look at this the air link 802 livery to be exact as you can see looks exactly like an air link train as it would do in scr which is just awesome to see so that means we have done all of the liveries in scr in train sim world 3 which is fantastic we've done connect we've done waterline we've done um uh, oh we haven't done oh, we haven't actually done express yet so we need to go ahead and do that in the next uh, video. I've just remembered that we still need to do that express. Um, it's with that we haven't done the air link yet, I don't think. Or at least I don't think so. Have we? I actually need to double check on that. I don't actually think we've done air link. Uh, I will have to try and remember. I don't think so. So we will have to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and turn on the AWS as well to make it a bit more realistic and we can already lock our doors and actually get going. So I don't know if we'll need to be put onto the third power rail in this route. I don't know. It is clear though, as you can see. So we don't need to worry about that. So the next stop is actually in 32 miles, which is Ebbs Fleet International Platform 2. If we do have a look at the schedule, we stop there. We stop at Stratford. So uh, I believe it's actually Ebb's fleet, uh, Ebb's fleet that we need to change the power. I do believe. Uh, and then we've obviously got to stop at Stratford, St. Pancras, and then a couple to formation six vehicles. I'm guessing this is like a part one. And then you can do like a part two here, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But we're just going to keep going. I think we're on the third power rail here then because I think it is Ebb's fleet. I think you need to change it. Oh, wait, hold on. Is it Gillingham? I've forgotten. I know that there's a station on the southeastern high speed that you need to change this train to being on, to, you know, being on a different power, which I think is the third rail. I can't exactly remember which station it is. Some part of me is saying Ebb's Fleet, but it could be something completely different. See, yeah, we're on the different power right now. We will need to change it at some point. Let's get the headlights on. There we go. We haven't done that yet. And while we are driving, I might as well tell you about the future videos of this channel. Or the future videos of these types of videos on Train Sim World 3. Obviously, I don't know how entertaining they are going to be for you because obviously I sit here and I play the game and I try and talk about many things that I can try and talk about in the time span of the journey. And when I'm editing it, I'm seeing like loads of gaps in, you know, where I would usually talk. Um, and as I've been kind of like watching them myself, I've been getting kind of bored, if I will be honest, of my own video. Um, but I put it out there because apparently you guys like to see it, you know. These videos, you know, get, you know, quite good, you know, quite good views. And obviously I am enjoying making them. It's not that, you know, I, obviously I enjoy playing the game and recording it. But obviously I don't know how well my voice turns out after I've recorded it. Um, so it's not that I'm not enjoying making these videos. I love it. I just don't really talk. So I had two options. Well, mainly just one. 
one would be to effectively do the entire journey without any voice so just pure gameplay pure game audio have it as that and don't talk obviously again that might not be the best thing to do because then it could just be the same as this you know just speaking and when there isn't anything to talk about i don't have to talk about another thing would be to speed these videos up so i do the journey you know without any audio and then i just speed it up again that could be another option but do let me know what um, you would like me to try and do because I don't know how to make these videos exciting <laughs> because mainly I just put you know the videos into Premiere add the intro outro you know if I do need to make any cuts I'll do that and then just set it rendering I don't really know how to make these videos like even more entertaining and I don't want to do like crazy edits on these videos because I kind of want these videos to be a bit chilled out, you know, like a relaxing sort of vibe and seeing loads of jumps and cuts and things in like that here and there. That to me doesn't really seem like being a relaxing, chilled out video, if that makes sense. Like that makes me sort of think of like, you know, action, fast paced, you know what I mean? I want this, you know, these videos to be a bit slower gentle chilled out relaxing do you, do you know what i mean you know like a sort of you just chilling out vibe not really the whole you know fast cuts fast paced i like these to be a bit chilled out which i know some people will see as boring you know I guess that is the vibe that I am doing and I'm actually realizing now when I'm making this sort of content that it's actually quite boring to do, <laughs> I guess. But I don't know, you know, do let me know um, if you do have any suggestions on how to make these videos better because I don't know. I mean, if you do want me to continue doing them as normal where I barely have nothing else to you know, say, do again let me know. Because, honestly, I have no idea. But as we are chugging our way to Ebb's Fleet, we're supposed to be there in about 13 minutes, 24 miles out. We should be getting to track speed shortly. The track speed is, I think it's actually, yeah, 225, but I think our track thing runs out at 223, I think. Because if you look closely down here, there's a red, and then there's a blue slightly afterwards. I think the blue means that's line speed, and then the red is obviously speed limit. And I don't know which one I go to, because sometimes the red could be over here and then the blue could be like at 150 and it'll go and the speed will go turn orange or yellow to say that i'm above the speed but like not massively exceeding it but after the power change if i was like you know 100 or so miles up you know off, up, or you know at the red thing then it would be red like if my speed was so much quicker than the track speed so I don't actually know what happens with that, if I will be honest. See now, I'm exceeding it. The blue line speed is here. But the red's here, and the points say that I'm driving over the speed. I don't get that. I mean, there might be something that I'm forgetting to turn on in the game. I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit weird, and I have to drop down my speed to try and match it. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get the power back down now, because we are now going a steady 223. I think I'm going to on four power. It's actually staying the same. It's leveling out at 233. Increase brightness. decrease as well. That has done absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, 
We are going downhill now, so let's go ahead and uh, just coast it now. We will need to every now and then just tap on the brakes and just make sure that we are under the 225. I think when we're at 225, it's okay as well. We just want to make sure that we can just level it near 225. 18 miles away from Ebb's fleet now. We still have about 10 minutes until we're supposed to be there, so I think we'll probably get there before we're supposed to. And loading, honestly, at Ebb's fleet takes like, I don't even know, two minutes. So, like, the departure time could be like 1 36 30 or something like that. I was actually playing this game quite a bit in my free time last night. I did a one hour long journey and then I did another one. Yeah. Um, some of the stops literally were like a minute and a half until I could depart. Which was quite annoying because I was getting to every stop literally on time. You know, I was able to stop well and things like that. And then... You know, I'd have to wait there for quite some time, which was... Quite annoying because I just wanted to, you know, just get driving, you know. Let's have a look at this uh, 801 a bit better, shall we? Or the uh, Express 802, sorry, not 801. Oh, we're in a tunnel. <laughs> Drop it down a bit more. I think that's 13 miles until Ebb's fleet. Still quite a distance away. And we still don't need to be there for, again, some time. I said we're going down about five miles per minute or something like that. Or maybe every two minutes. Or maybe three miles every minute, something like that. The main thing is, is that we are getting there quick. <laughs> so we will probably be, we will probably be there just after 11.30. Surprisingly, we aren't actually, um, making a whole lot of time or well, we're not really speeding up i mean we are on an incline but still this train should have plenty of power to pull us up a hill i guess not oh now we're going downhill yeah when we're not really going up any inclines or like anything like that we can absolutely go 225, but then when we are going up a hill climb, that's what really starts to slow us down. Two point four percent decline, really? Yeah, if we're going down uh, as well, keeping it at 225, then we can speed up as well. Okay, we probably won't be there probably can't say it well we'll probably be probably why do i have problems saying probably we will probably not be there until after 11 30 looking at the time
I think we'll definitely get there before we're supposed to be there, at least. Also, I don't really know when the best time to start slowing down is. Usually, we'd see some like speed changes when we're approaching, so I'll use that as a sort of guide as well. I'm going to guess because it's giving us 11.35 when we're 6.4 miles out. I think we might be getting a 30, maybe close towards the station. That's the only thing I can think of is why why it's predicting us to be at Ebb's Fleet by 11.35. But apart from that, I'm stuck. Maybe it is that we are just killing the game. <laughs> We're so quick, even the game can't handle us. The game's underestimating our power. Keeping out of 225, so I don't know why it just beeped at us. It wasn't an AWS warning or anything. Also, guys, good, uh, good news for you, I guess. Um, over the next few days, it will have to be Trains in World 3 content because. Oh, yeah, see here, we're starting to slow down a bit now. You see what I mean though, you know, you see what I mean, it goes to yellow and doesn't, you know, it's it's not red. But yeah, I'm going to have to post some Train Simulator 3 content over the next few days because even though it's quite boring and may seem quite long to film, they are probably actually the quickest and easiest ones to make because, yes, although it does take quite a while to obviously film and stuff, it doesn't actually take that long. Because as I said at the start, when I'm editing one of these videos, I just pop it into Premiere, add the intro, outro, any necessary cuts, and then render it, upload it, done, dusted. With, you know, like a Roblox thing, yes, although it might take me quite, you know, not that much time to actually make but I spend way more time editing it than it might seem. So even though the video might turn out to be like 20 minutes long, I would probably spend maybe about two to three hours finishing that video entirely. So for quickness, I am gonna have to do some Train Sim World 3 videos because I do have work tomorrow. So, I, I, and I haven't got pre-planned up until that, so, yeah, it's going to be quite challenging to obviously try and get those done, but obviously, hopefully, with me having a lot of time, I should be able to uh, get all sorted. I'm hoping this afternoon, as I'm recording this video, I can pre-record a few more, so then I can plan until... Tuesday and Wednesday because on well Tuesday uh, the match is in the evening so I have to do my Roblox stream in the afternoon which is when I would usually do the stream or which is when I'd usually start um, you know recording videos why is this not slowing down as quick as I would like it to come on There we go. 
Yeah, we're still here, you know, still here on time. Oh, okay, okay, it's 11.36 departure time. Okay, that's not bad. As I was talking about Tuesday, as I said, the match is in the evening, so I can't, I won't have time to do any recording in the afternoon. Yes, I'll have time to do some recording in the morning, so I might see if I could get another video done. I'm not too sure. But because the match is in the evening, then the next morning, so we're talking Wednesday morning now, uh, that is when I would uh, obviously get the match onto my PC and stuff like that, get it all edited, send out to the manager and stuff like that. Um, and then by the time I probably would have got all of that finished, there wouldn't be enough time to probably make a video and get it out on the same day. You know, I'm struggling for time if I'll get this one out, you know, on the day. Because I'm, I'm literally recording this video on the day it's supposed to come out. So, that is um, a little bit concerning on my behalf. But we should be okay. We just need to wait for a few more seconds before we can actually depart. Because we're not supposed to depart until 11.36. Another thing that did happen when I was playing last night is I probably got my closest stopping position in this game. I can't remember the exact distance, but I remember on the stop accuracy chart I got at the end. We're talking millimeters. Actual millimeters. All I know is that the first two digits were 0. .8 zero not 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 0, 0 0.0 and then there were obviously a couple of other digits at the end and yeah it was coming down to millimeters which was crazy <laughs> if i actually get my ipad i might be able to tell you because I, I think i actually i think i actually wrote it down somewhere where is it um, give me a second to find it. The stopping position was 0 0.043 yards. If you want to try and work out what that is in millimeters, feel free. Go ahead and tell me if you want to. That's my that's that's my closest stopping position in this game. And I know that I use the marker, you know, to judge where I'm supposed to stop. However, I don't really, you know, I like to play this game as a casual person, you know. I don't like playing games as like a hardcore, you know, gamer or anything like that. I just like to, you know, hop onto a game, chill out. That's how I enjoy games. And if it does mean that I need a few prompts on to, you know, help me play the game, I will probably have them on. Yeah, I don't play games like hardcore, if that makes sense. I play the games because I want to. Chilling out, just being casual with it. I think the only games that I do like not really play casual at is probably Fortnite and maybe SCR or no, no, not SCR, ETS2. I mean, Euro Truck. Well, I mean, I have Traffic Fence turned off. Obviously, I don't get fined or anything, so I guess that is kind of saying being casual. I don't know. I think Fortnite is probably the only game that I don't really play casually, because obviously, with a game like that, you do need to concentrate for a good amount of time. And I am actually getting better at Fortnite. Which I'm sure some of you will like to hear. We need to put on the window wipers now because we are experiencing a bit of rain. Shouldn't be too bad though. But yeah, every morning I'm playing probably like one or two matches of Fortnite. And also just completing my uh, quests as well to try and get some XP. I'm not winning the matches, no, but I'm getting 
on average, I'm getting at least one kill a game. <laughs> at least, I, I, I would say, at least one kill. Um, I remember the first match I played today, I got five kills almost instantly. Because what I've actually done is I've actually turned my graphics down to the lowest. So I could get the best FPS I could and it not like juddering because when I was playing on 120, obviously it was locked in at 120 and I could get more FPS. But I'd, I'd see it dropping down the, ref the refresh rate of my monitor. And to me, it was looking a bit juddery. I don't know why it does that, but it does. So what I've done is I've turned it down to the lowest graphics and then I could lock it in at 180 FPS. So no matter what, you know, frames it's running or anything, obviously my monitor is 165 hertz. So even though it's locked in at 180, I won't see the 15 FPS benefit. But I set it to 180 for streaming. So then when I stream it, hopefully the stream preview will be full 60. Um, and not, um, you know, it'll be full 80. Or full 60, I mean. So then it looks good for the stream and I can play it. And it just makes everything look so much smoother. And that just helps my aim and just, in general, just game, I guess. The rain is coming down quite a bit now. Getting a bit misty. And this is what I like about this game. You know, you could start a route in sunny weathers and then by the end of it, it could be absolutely miserable like we're experiencing here it's dark it's misty it's foggy it's raining not a nice day is it but obviously at the start it was lovely weather now i think you guys are gonna are gonna like the next video because i have a really good idea of what i want, of what i want to do in the next video about the weather some of you will probably know that i you know what what because i've just said that but honestly i i think i think it's going to be a cool video anyway we've got four minutes to get to the next stop stratford international this is the one between yeah and then it's literally st pancreas after that and then couples of formation I don't know what it means by coupling to a formation and I don't get that we might be uh, we might be seeing the coupling animation I don't know if I'll need to get that train or if I'll need to do any tasks towards it but if not I guess it'll be fine to just see I mean it says it, it, it is a task so I'm guessing it is something that we are going to have to uh, to do something at least about. And I hope it is. But if not, at least we'll be able to see, I hope, what it's all about. just realized i could have actually been on power four i honestly i think i'm i think i'm always on power four but i'm not oh speed limits i'm actually going down to a 100 so i'm actually going to leave it on 50 percent power plus we are going pretty quick as well yeah we're, we're, st we're still going down the speed limit so I if I just keep it on a 50, then it should be fine. Yeah, I don't really need these on, do I? Ah, oh, I can't be bothered. 
It's quite hard not to see where everything is. There we go. Right, the speed limit's already dropped down to 100. No, it hasn't. Yeah, I really pay attention to this over here. Right, let's start uh, minimum braking. As we are approaching Stratford. Will I need to put on the wipers again? I think that's a yes. We're still on the different power. Are we, are we supposed to be on this power? Or are we supposed to be on normal? Look at the rain detail on the platform. It's crazy. Well, I mean, when you're looking at it from far out, it's a little bit better. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> Honestly, I love getting out in like different weather conditions in this game and just looking at the train. You know, looking at the graphics, you know, look at that, you know, like it's actually got, you know, like the, I don't know why, but I just find this fascinating. You know, with the wet bits on the side and the window wipers obviously cleaning off that part where we see out of. I don't know why, but I just like seeing that. Building a bigger, better railway. Okay. Let's get back in where it's quite nice and warm. Yeah, do they have heaters in these trains? I don't know. <laughs> right, let's close the doors. Then we're good to go. Oh wait, hold on. Two power. Maybe three. We don't want we don't want to get any wheel slip, do we? Oh, we should be good to go to four now. There we go. And St. Pancras International Platform 13 in about five miles. So I think we'll turn... Well, well, we'll get ready to turn the window wipers off when we get into the tunnel because we really don't need them. There we go. We're just going to make sure that it's wiped. I mean, you can still see, you know, some of the wet patches, like, even, like, across the thing. It's so cool! <laughs> so we should be due into St. Pancras in about six minutes, or five and a half minutes. Then obviously we have that uh, coupling thing, don't we? That couple formation is six vehicles. I still don't know what it's about. I thought we were already six coaches.
Or does it mean... I really don't know what that means. <laughs> Obviously, we will have a look at it when it comes to that. However, I think we're going to drop down the speed a bit more with another purple or not purple, blue like thing. No. Well, I'll put it on four. And, yep, told you. Never mind what I said. I wish I could give you a heads up like display of when they're gonna happen. You know what I mean? Not just changing it instantly. And we are actually gonna be slowing down to an 80 as well. I guess that's because of the uh, entrance, I guess, to St. Pancras. Starting to get some AWS warnings. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I honestly have no idea at this rate. Actually dropped down to a 60 as well. Or 40 mile an hour. Here are the double ambers. Whoa, we're getting some severe drops in FPS. I think that could be a red. That's green, okay. Wait. That was red. What? Well, we didn't despawn apparently. That that was red. I'm pretty sure that signal was indicated as red. Is that a bug in the game? You saw that. That that signal was red. The UI told me it was green. Okay. Well, if, if I was going to despawn, that would have been the game spot and not me. Oh, wait, I see the train over there. Oh, okay. That's probably why it was red. Because we're going to be coupling onto this train. I'll slow down, though. So we might actually have to do the coupling up ourselves. Oh, this, this is, this is going to be cool. It's an express livery. <laughs> Air Link and Express are going to join forces. Oh, this is hilarious. An Air Link train is going to go on and couple to an Express themed train. <laughs> oh, this is just not going to go well, is it? This is just not going to go well. I didn't, st honestly, I didn't stop where I was supposed to, but. <laughs> oh my God, this is hilarious. This is absolutely hilarious. Oh my god. Right, well, I don't think we're going to need uh, the window wipers on anymore. Or the wiper things, so we can turn those off. Oh my god, this is actually going to be hilarious. <laughs> Air Link is going to couple onto an express train. Who would have thought it? I actually still need to get a thumbnail, so we can get that now. There we go. Awesome. Right, well, I suppose we're going to have to lock our doors. 
I don't know. I'm, I'm going to wait. Yeah, lock doors. And I don't think we'll need to couple up. I think we need to. I think we need to just check what we need to do. Right. So we do need to couple the vehicles. So I think firstly we need to like um, do these or something. I don't know how you do that. I'm I'm, I'm going to go very slowly. Because I actually have no idea how you do this. I probably should have looked at a uh, tutorial on how to do this. Because I honestly have no idea. Plus I don't want to crash into the train. I want it to couple on. I don't feel safe getting further. Surely I could just do everything, you know, like just clicking this or something. I swear I could. Can I do the same for this? Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Right, well, I'm just going to have a look at all of these and just see what they do. Um, none of that does anything there. Orcs, no, it's not going to be anything to do with that, I don't think. Hmm. I really should have looked at this, because I have not got a clue what I do. That is not what you do. Uh, I don't know. Why didn't I just look at this before I started recording? Oh wait, hold on, couple. That did not do a thing, okay. I think we're onto something here though. Wrong couple of thing, whatever that means. No, that didn't do anything, hold on. I think I have found it though. Right, let's hold, and let's hold it. And let's see what that's done. Again, did absolutely nothing. Oh, wait, hold on. Is it because I don't have the power in? Hold on. Let's, let's, let's go see what that does. That uh, opens it. Okay. We are on to something. So I need to go ahead. No, dismiss. We need to put that on and then press the same thing, I think. So then that should open that up. Which it doesn't. We need to put the reverse. Uh, wait. And then we do that. Okay, perfect. And now we just need to drive up, I think. Oh my god, this is nerve wracking. I don't feel safe going any quicker than one mile an hour. That locks on. I think so. Oh, and that's finished it. Okay. <laughs> Time taken 43 minutes. Thanks for that. I had no idea what I was doing at the end there. As I said, I probably should have possibly researched what I was doing before doing that because I did not feel safe doing that. <laughs> but it's just hilarious now that, you know, that the coupling, you know, it's now an it's now an air link train with an express train. That just would just would not work with it. There's a breakdown though if you wanted to know. Um that was the speed limit. Pretty okay. No major speeding actually warnings there. So that was interesting. Closest stopping accuracy was at Stratford, which was a 0.2. Obviously, it didn't judge where we were at St. Pancras because, uh, A, we needed to, you know, couple up and stuff. A minute earlier, Ebb's Fleet and St. Pancras, but that's fine. But that is going to be it for today's video. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it. That would be awesome. And thank you very much. Also, make sure to subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in the next video or stream. But until then, take care and peace out.